Uh, the ugliest thing we've had at this seminar is somebody said that, you know, that um, I should give boxing lessons uh, here. And that, uh, well, a few of you know how to box a little, and, and a few of you don't, as, as witnessed by looking at you. But the, uh, that's fine. That, that, we're not here to teach you how to box. We're here for you to go through that experience of stepping out of your comfort zone. I mean, the fucking melon head that said that on the on the uh, YouTube, I mean, it was a melon head. And that's why I call them retards. But I get in trouble, some of the people write me and you know, they send me a picture of their little kid who's retarded, and, you know, and I feel like shit, but that's not what I mean. And you know, no matter how many times I say that's not what I mean, when I say cunt, I mean coward, when I say vagina, I mean coward, I get the feminist bullshit, uh, you know, the, uh, but I didn't even get any feminist shit so far at the seminar. So I don't know, we've had a turn of some sort, yes sir. Um, when you talk about that exiting through IPO, so when we're ex when you're going to put a lot of money in your pocket when that happens. And will the public allow us to fully exit all of our? No, 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 no. Oh, that's a great question. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Okay, you're going to exit now. You you built up a uh, hundred million in revenue, and uh, you've got. Uh, uh, we'll make it simple. We you got. Uh, the uh, your you and your group own uh, still fifty percent, more or less. Okay. Normally, when you go public, you're selling between ten and twenty percent of the company to the public. So we'll make it easy, twenty percent. So that means, and let's just make it easy. There's a hundred million shares. So you're selling twenty million shares to the public, and the investment bank will ascertain what the stock should go out at based on multiples, the industry, the economic cycle, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so that, let's say they, they ascertain it's gonna go out at 15 times earnings. Now in Europe, they talk about pre-tax earnings. In America, they talk about post-tax earnings. It doesn't matter, okay. They're gonna send it, send it out at um, tw uh, tw uh, 15 times earnings. Now let's say that equates to uh, $30 a share. Okay, so now, the 50% your group owns, right? 50 million shares times $30 a share is what? Three times 15 is 450 million, right? So your group, but you're gonna sell, the founders will say, okay, how many shares do you wanna sell into the, the public offering? And you'll say all of them, and they'll say, yeah, and you, you, they won't let you do that. They'll, they may let the founder group sell 20% of the shares, or 25% of the shares. So those are all the shares that are being sold in the public offering, if it's 20. If it's 25, that means you're gonna have to issue more shares out of retained capital. So now the stock will go from 100 million shares to 105 million shares, but I'm, that's confusing the issue. The bottom line is you will sell a fraction in the IPO. But what you want is you want to be able to sell because it's, um, it's like when uh, uh, Microsoft first went public and Bill Gates sold all the shares, I mean, the, the shareholders or the new shareholders would think, well, fuck, he must not think much of the company. He's selling all the shares. Okay, so they, they don't want the new shareholders to lose confidence uh, in the offering and the investment bank uh, that is handling your, they call it the book, the sales book, will tell you that, uh, you know, that uh, you're selling 25% of your shareholdings. They understand when you want to get rich. They understand that. But the important thing is, remember, the legend on your share certificates needs to say that you can hypothecate, a borrow, leverage. So you can leverage not all the rest of your shares, but maybe another 25% of your shares you can borrow against. Now, yes, you have to pay fees to the bank. Yes, you have to pay interest on the loan, but you have the money in your pocket. So don't be worried about fees to banks or investment banks. The important thing is putting money in your pocket. So they'll let you sell probably a quarter of your shares on an IPO. But then they want you to stay there because they want you to grow those shares from $15 a share to 20, 30, 40, and obviously, you benefit by growing the value of the shares. Nobody benefits more because you still own a, a lion's share of the stock. And then from time to time, you'll, there'll be secondary offerings from time to time, meaning that the company will put shares into the, in, into the market. Some of those shares can be out of your 
portion and some of the shares will be new issued shares. The most important thing in a public offering is have a, to have a balanced support by um, your institutional investors uh, and um, uh, your stockbroker. And you want to place your shares in strong hands. Prudential, the Bank of England, the Church of England, uh, KKR, you want strong hands. You don't want, you know, you're going to have willy nilly uh, uh, retail investors, uh, meaning, uh, you know, a doctor in uh, Bristol or uh, in Vancouver, a dentist in Montreal, but you want a majority of your shares to be held in institutional hands. And by definition, institutional hands are strong hands. That means when you smoke a joint on Joe Rogan's show, the fucking stock doesn't drop 40%. I don't see you smoking a joint on Joe Rogan's show, actually, but you know, you never know. Um, I know I didn't, but anyway, but the, just because I didn't doesn't mean anybody else won't. Yes, sir. And how do you exit completely? Or what time? Uh, he wants to know the question is how do I run like a thief in the night? <laughs> <laughs> and go to uh, Ober Amagal and my chalet in the mountains. <laughs> um, Exit completely is not easy. I mean, all the founders, Bill Gates is still a major shareholder and he's not even with the company anymore. Uh, Steve Ballmer is still a major shareholder at Microsoft he's, and he's not employed there anymore. It's, it's tough to exit completely, but you can go to institutions. Let's say the stock's selling at $15 a share and you go to an institution, Prudential uh, or Allianz, uh, a big fund, uh, and you say, uh, uh, how much will you give me for 100% of my shares? And they'll say $12. And you take it and you run like a thief in the night. <laughs> okay? The, to, uh, over Amagao. You know where Over Amagao is? No? Oh, God. Okay. Over Amagao is, uh, here's Munchen, Munich, and then uh, south in Bavarian Mountains, uh, near where Hitler had his place. The, and I went to security, uh, NATO security school there many years ago. And uh, it is fucking paradise. Uh, the um, uh, it's fucking paradise. In those days, you could buy a schnitzel that big, over the plate, sides of the plate, palm fritters, French fries, stack like this, swai, uh, one liter beers, two of them, for six pounds, or no, six uh, Deutschmarks, 45. Now, $80. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the... Um, the, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, it was, it's, a, it's a great place. If you like to drink and you're a young single uh, officer, Germany was a great place. I mean, uh, it was a great place. Um, although when I was there, there was still a faction, uh, a faction of the people that hated Americans from the war, but uh, the ones that didn't hate the Americans from the war were uh, overly lovingly uh, uh, towards us. Okay. Go ahead. Um, so as we as we purchase and do more acquisitions, in order to keep the management team incentivized like, to produce the most that they can, do you have any idea? And you mean on the Canadian benchmark or Pena benchmark? Okay, go ahead. Like, like we want them to drive as much profitability as possible. Correct. And so, would you suggest like giving them options or? Okay. Well. Okay, some of your key people already have stock because they're owners, right? Well, then you uh, start an uh, option plan. Bill Gates said he started an option plan at Microsoft, not for tax, taxes or tax savings, but to give ownership from everybody from himself all the way down to the guy that swept the floors. So you have a stock incentive plan, and there's various other kinds of stock incentive plans. In fact, one of the things... Uh, some people uh, uh, begin uh, employee stock option plan where you have an option to sell the entire company to the employees. And employees invariably, when they buy the company away from the founders, pay too much. Because what they're doing is they're buying a job for life. That's what they think. And I'm not saying that's wrong. And so if the company's worth $100 million, they, they probably pay $150 million. Employee stock option plan, and if you start it now and 10 years from now, uh, they, they may very well pay you 50% more than uh, the marketplace tells you the company's worth. And those plans 
aren't absolutely 100% recession proof. Remember, we talked about being recession proof, but they're very much recession proof because an employee that's buying his own job will pay a lot more for the shares of the company than a guy that has nothing to do with the company. And, um, and again, your crack board, your lawyers, your accountants, and that's why I like the big firms because the big law firms, the big accounting firms have these big departments that know how to structure. They're on top of the tax changes and the tax laws. Um, the, I, I, I'm never worried too much about taxes. If I'm, not, if I'm worried about paying taxes because I'm not making enough fucking money. I mean, so, um, but you should do tax planning, uh, estate planning, not, not tax planning, estate planning, because when you leave your estate, when your time on earth ends, most people want to leave as much as they can to, uh, to their, uh, not necessarily their relatives, their close family, uh, the, uh, your kids, grandkids, um, and uh, your third or fourth wife, you burn through two or three by that time. Uh, the, um, did I answer your question? Okay, is there another question about that? Who's my six? <clears throat> 6.30? Okay. Um, you just have your obituary in the movie. What movie are we seeing tonight? Okay. Um, there's some other whoremongering founder that <laughs> left, uh, left everybody handshake deals and stole everything. But I forget which one. Because you can pick anyone. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You, you can almost pick any of them. They're all the same. Um, the um, maybe it's uh, Tata from India. Uh, that uh, you know how he's uh, he's taken every everybody's money. Okay. If there's no other questions, uh, I will see you. Uh, to, where are we having dinner tonight? Yes. Pavilion again. Yes. Okay. Was there? Okay. Nothing else. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.